Hello guys, in this video tutorial I will show you how to create the 3D model of impeller of centrifugal pump in ANSYS design um, workbench. Okay, let's uh, download the free software for this, uh, for calculation the main dimension of the pump, it's CPD, you can download it, it's free from GitHub and it's based on book uh, Gulich centrifugal pumps. So, uh, you can do can download it, it with this link in the description. So let's uh, download the zip file and click it, save it in your PC. Wait it when it wa was downloaded will be downloaded. And let's unzip this zip file in some path in your PC to the disk and let's go to this folder and let's run x file cpd okay let's run it double click so and here we can see this program and uh, in left side you can see the scheme how what means this any dimension any d0 d2 for example and the input parameters it will be the flow uh, volume flow rate of the pump the head of the pump in meters rotation speed of the rotor impeller it it, it will be input parameters number of stages of this pump it will be the single stage because the number of stage equals to one and the safety factor for the shaft it will uh, define the rate the diameter of the shaft okay and also you can to change this hq curve performance uh, if you will increase it will be the more uh, less steep curve and you can define the number of plates it will be seven and um, B2 trailing edge angle of the blade. Okay, let's calculate the dimensions. You can to see that the pump performance prediction of the uh, head you can to increase the sum beta 2 angle of the blade, it will give you the sum more head of your pump. Okay, let's set this default beta 2 value, it recommendation from the book. And you can see the head of the impella 32. And let's save uh, the log file with all dimensions and predicted parameters of the pump impella. Let's click the save. You can see the all data from the program in this log. It will be the ash impella, power, efficiency also. You can see the uh, dimensions of the impeller here also and input parameters of the pump so let's close this software this utilities and the next step will be creation of this 3d model based on these impeller parameters so let's go to ANSYS workbench you can download for example the student version in official site okay and let's wait when it will be run So the workbench is run and let's uh, they activate the geometry model let's paste it to the workbench and let's open the design modeler in the geometer geometry box 
Let's new design model geometry. Let's click it. And let's wait when the design modeler will be opened. So it's so long to open the design modeler. Okay, it's so now let's start with creation of the geometry and let's change uh, the units, default units. It will be millimeters. We can see it here. And let's choose the Z explain. And in Z explain, it's very important. We have to create the meridional section. You cannot to use the XY plan, for example, or YZ plan. It uh, this model will be works in only in ZX plane. So in this ZX plane, let's create the sketches of the different part of the your meridional section and pillar. It's called it like shroud, hub, inlet, outlet. And now I will uh, show you what uh, any sketch means. Okay you can uh, look uh, to this ZX plane and let's go to our impeller parameters file when you have the meridional dimensions here you can and we will be using this so as the first uh, let's create the inlet part of the impeller to Will be difference between the cup D zero for shroud and the zero for hub. It will be this vertical line. Let's set this first um, dimension. So uh, I will calculate it. This is diameter dimension, and let's set this dimension in design modeler let's choose this d0 and open the calculator and delete it by 2 because we have uh, the radius in design modeler so let's repeat this part for d0 for shroud and paste it vertical dimension for shroud part yeah will be the inlet line for our water to impeller so let's um, create this some uh, recommendation for lens it um, you can correct make the correction for this lens of course it's just for flow pass recommendation for simulation Okay, let's create the hub. You can, you have to choose this part for outlet, for hub, for now for outlet, and for shroud part of the sketch. And let's create these lines of this of the shroud. So now let's go to the modify. Let's let's trim these two lines, and you will get the something like box of your meridional section and let's set the dimensions for this box of meridional section let's make uh, this some lens of this axis axial meridional lens i think it uh, will be really big, big size um, maybe Let's uh, choose this dimension and let's set something like this dimension. Let's try it. But how can you see the box is really have the really 
uh, big lens. Let's delete it. Couple of this dimension. Let's paste it, and I think we can to make this dimension some smaller in the future. Let's set another dimension. It will be the B2. It will be the outlet uh, width of impeller. Let's set this. 25.4 and let's set the diameter of your impeller here one hundred fifty two okay let's set it here And uh, now we can to make uh, some correction for this Excel uh, lens. Let's set 50, it really small. I think this lens will be enough for radiuses, field operation. And let's set the field operation, it will be something like 30. I don't calculate it. it uh, experience of design of impeller can be different field okay uh, and let's uh, make the outlet boundary some bigger because we have the trailing edge to be the outlet of your blade impeller let's set it yet make the dimension 142 for this radius of impeller and also let's create some random position for your leading edge you can set it also randomly because we can to make the some correction for this leading edge um, position in the radial section in the future okay let's go to yeah we have finished to creation the original section in the first step and let's uh, start to creation the plate dimensions let's check the all part of the impeller in the original section and let's start to creation the flow pass flow pass and let's choose the hub shroud inlet boundary and outlet boundary of Impella. Click generate, and you will uh, get uh, here this some um, line of the span. It this lines means um, require for creation the blade angels. You can to change the position, but I will make the creation of Impella by three lines for shroud, hub, and average line here in meridional section and this next step will, will be creation the blade based on our flow pass okay let's choose the flow pass let's set the number of the blades you can to use your recommendation let's try to find it in our log file it will be seven number of blades let's paste it here and we can also to set our leading edge and trailing edge sketches from here. Let's set leading edge and trailing edge. Okay, click apply. And you also can to activate the uh, average span for creation the blade angels parameters for this okay let's click the none and so uh, it was hide it but I think we can just uh, make the generate click this button generate and it will give you the sum initial impeller blades for your pump so let's change the leading edge type 
uh, so if you will change this coefficient it will give you the circle uh, type of the shape of leading edge and you also can change the shape type of the trailing edge it will be the ellipse for example but in centrifugal pumps so the type of the trailing edge um, very often is cutoff type yeah okay let's set this type of the uh, leading and trailing edge shape and so let's uh, start uh, setting uh, the beta angels for your blade dimension okay let's start this shroud beta 1 for shroud it will be the inlet bed angel of blade we have to change the definition type of creation blade uh, because we will be using the beta angels for design of the blade here it will be for inlet and for outlet um, values of the blade okay let's change the number of points which we can use for design of blade and let's uh, paste our calculated value of beta 1 for shroud let's make the copy of this value and we have to make this difference between 90 and our current value and paste this current value to input for our beta 1 shroud value uh, it uh, because for a design modeler we have the angel between y axis and the blade angel here but for uh, our program cpd we have the calculation of blade angel these angels uh, between x axis and the blade angel okay uh, and now uh, we have to set the outlet angle let's uh, make the difference between 90 minus 25 and let's set the 65 angle to the our design modeler let's make the some linear value and make the generate and we have the false for creation because our blade defined only for shout we can to repeat this previous steps for hub a part hub line so let's change the value of current points for changing altimetry and let's set the beta for hub let's calculate the beta 1 for hub it will be 40 let's paste it like in this for this point it will be and let's paste the outlet angel and this one else point we can to regulate the theta angle it also called like omega angle okay you can see that our impeller looks like um, any centrifugal pumps impeller correctly correct looks correct and now let's make um, the some changes in our blade let's create the one else layer you can also set up the blade in average section meridional but I will use the interpolated method for this okay it uh, more ac have more accuracy between the hub and shroud the interpolation method for creation the blade so uh, we have to um, make this value of omega it's uh, called theta in design modeler it's this blue line we can set the 150 by changing the point average of the graph of the plot and let's um, make the some smaller value of theta or omega 150 
and let's change this point and we'll also give you some um, blades with a less a length of the blade okay uh, but now we have the some big dif big uh, different uh, non uh, non linear plot in for our blade beta plot so and for this uh, correction we have to make the changes with leading edge line let's um, make the leading edge line some make the blade some smaller if we will to make the sum offset for our leading edge it, how can you see the our blade have less um, lens okay and now we can to increase our beta changing angle in the plot and uh, to make the 115 omega angle here without this uh, big um, diffu diffusers for better angle okay so now um, our blade looks very good and uh, the last step will be creation the thickness of the blade we can to uh, set up the thickness of the blade here it will be the thickness from inlet to outlet part of the blade let's set the six millimeters thickness and uh, let's make the thickness for inlet and outlet three millimeters thickness and let's make the some correction and shape for our blade by changing position of this point and how you can see we set up the thickness for only shroud part of the blade and let's make the interpolation between blades but uh, we have the some trouble because uh, we have to make the interpolation for shroud and let's change the current value of the thickness for hub let's repeat uh, the previous step because uh, we have got some trouble with interpolation we have made it for shroud okay and let's make the thickness set up the thickness for our blade so now uh, we have the thickness of the blade it looks correctly let's make the, some changes for the shape of the thickness blade and now the blade looks correctly it, and we can use it for generation the mesh and for generation the CFD analysis so let's save the project with our geometry I recommend you to make the saving of your project uh, more often because if you have the some bugs in program you can to get the some uh, troubles and you have to repeat all steps again so thank you for watching so try to the channel goodbye